Bodybuilding simplified. Here is only one full body exercise and it is very simple. You lift the dumbbells to the side, in front, above and to your chest. The technical names are dumbbell lateral rise, standing dumbbell curls and overhead shoulder press. But you don't have to be technical about any of this. Because this is a standing workout, it will give you muscles throughout. Large legs, large shoulders, back, biceps, and the nice abdominal muscles. And it can also be used to burn fat. All you have to do is eventually extend the full duration of your workout to three hours. Before you can do the above non-stop for an hour and beyond, you will have to gain endurance to do so. This is also very simple, and joggers do it all the time and without making a fuss about it. Before they can jog their full route non-stop, their body will force them to stop, but they will use a stopwatch to rest less and less every week. That's all it takes. Because bodybuilding is much easier when you eliminate all distractions, you will need a free app or a no-brand interval timer that clips on your waistband and vibrates. An interval timer has two countdowns that go in a loop that you also configure. The first countdown is your workout duration. The second is the rest you need to successfully repeat the little workout and carry on to repeat the sequence of lifting and resting for some 15, maybe 30 minutes. To figure out what your workout and rest times are, put on some music and get used to lifting to its beat. You may start with medium speed songs or something even more slowish. Begin timing yourself, use a stopwatch or a regular watch, app or timer. Go to the end that has the 3 or 5 pound dumbbells and perform the exercise as described for as long as you can. When your biceps get tired, switch to lifting above your head or lifting to the side or in front. Do not stop. Mix it all up. Once you begin losing the beat of your song, unable to keep up with it, and kind of need to stop, look at the stopwatch and write your workout time duration down. Reset and start the stopwatch again and begin resting until you feel that you can repeat the exercise again. Write your rest period duration down as well, and this marks your beginning. Enter the two values into your interval timer and try 10 rounds at first. If you can lift for 30 seconds and need to rest for two and a half minutes to do it again, that is 3 minutes per round. 10 rounds or repetitions would be a 30-minute workout. 15-minute workouts are fine as well, but maybe adjust your weight and add a little bit of rest so that you can get a full 30-minute workout. You are already at the gym, might as well work out for a bit longer than 15 minutes. It is very important that you begin with three or five pound weights. You must absolutely start in the beginning. There are in fact two kinds of heavy and one of them is only good for maintenance, if anything at all. The correct heavy is the maximum weight that you can lift for two hours non-stop, which will actually alter your physique very quickly. And the incorrect too heavy that shuts you down before your weight lifting makes much of a difference. Please do not lift heavy to look good. 
lived with works to get you going for two hours non-stop. Please avoid copying what everyone else is doing at the gym. They are all wrong. If you don't ignore them, it will take you decades to put on just a little bit of muscle. And now, settle into your daily workout routine. You may take weekends off if you really need it. And begin lengthening your workout duration and shortening the rest duration each week by a meaningful though little bit. Here you are waiting for your body to adapt. Our bodies have their own speed of adaptation, so be respectful and patient. Learn about protein, vitamins, brain fog, hydration, electrolytes, vegetable juice. Learn to check your blood pressure, especially when taking in extra salt. Once you can work out for a full 30 minutes, put your interval timer away. Your body will now be ready to make leaps forward. You may be able to extend your workout duration by a full 15 minutes to reach a 45-minute non-stop dumbbell workout of twisting and turning and maybe dancing a little. Try to make it to one hour. That will be extremely powerful. And your body will be changing shape every week. If you are large, you will need to keep going until you twist and turn with dumbbells for a full three hours. Focus on music, on lifting to the beat. The dance trance that will result from that will carry you through. If you are fit, hoping to get more muscular or stronger, you will need to learn some shuffle dance moves and just dance. In either case, once you feel ready to switch to 5 or 7 pounds, try to carefully do so. Please watch your back and maybe slow your music down for a little while. This workout is not that different from aerobic workouts of 80s and 90s. The major difference here is going up in duration, speed of music, and dumbbell weight. Finally, and half-jokingly, the gym may not be for you. It is, after all, an odd and boring place, filled with gassy people who will do anything to turn exercise equipment into a comfy chair. In that case, walk the Appalachian, Pacific Crest and Continental Divide trails. You will need beefy walking sticks to serve as your dumbbells, and here, rather than beat of music, you must lift with each step. Never walk the trail without good narrated books you can listen to, and I highly recommend adventure and philosophy books. Do not adventure books about bear or cougar or even angry raccoon attacks, and especially not the ones where owls confuse a person's hair with a furry creature and dive to rip the scalp clean off. I yearn for the days when I thought bats were the worst thing that could happen to a person's hair. But hey, you'll be all right if you just remember to scoot when you hear a hood. <laughs> <Hoo -hoo. laughs>